Hello, and welcome to the People's News, Stimulus Check, and Stimulus Package Update. As of the 4th of, yep, the 4th of January, 2021. Well, today in the news, we actually find out that in a political letter that was published in the Washington Post on Sunday, 10 living former defense secretaries, U.S. defense secretaries, including the two who worked under the Trump administration, issued a bipartisan stance against using the military to overturn and undermine the 2020 presidential elections. Isn't that nice? And then in a Washington, sorry, in a Wisconsin pharmacist, sorry, the Wisconsin pharmacist accused of intentionally spoiling nearly 600 doses of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is an admitted conspiracy theorist who believe that the vaccine was not safe for people and would harm or change their DNA. Wow. Change our DNA. So does that mean we get to be mutants now? We can be X-Men? Nice. I like that. (laughs) President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration will include a virtual parade across America, consisting with crowded uh, limit. Crowded limits during the coronavirus era. And Paul Ryan condemned efforts by the group of Republican lawmakers to reject the electoral votes, saying, If it is difficult to conceive of a more anti dramatic and anti conservative act, isn't he nice? An anti conservative act. Then Vice President-elect Kamala Harris accuses President Trump of abuse of power after a recorded phone call was leaked in which Trump pled to Georgia's Secretary of State to find more votes and overturn the election results in that state. Two Democrats, Democratic rep- representatives have filed a criminal referral to the FBI of, to investigate a call between President Trump and Georgia's Secretary of State where basically Trump asked for 11,780 votes. And then I also have a picture of the FBI member, the um, director of the FBI that actually asked, um, which was, uh, see if I can take it. director of the FBI to open criminal probe, and I think it was, what was his name? Was Doug Gunnett? But I'll show you a picture of him anyways. Graham proposing a commission at this late date would have zero chances of becoming reality. This, this is to the um, Republicans that would make a commission to do a 10-day audit of present, of the votes, basically. Their chance to become a reality. It is not effective fighting for President Trump. It appears to be more of a political dodge. Oh, nice. A political dodge. And then Ted Cruz. Um, Senator Ted Cruz basically said uh, people are accusing him of sedition. And they need to calm down. On Sunday, <coughs> Ted Cruz called for critics of his challenge of to the results of a presidential election to tone down the rhetoric. The rhetoric, right? The extraordinary Republican effort to overturn the presidential election was condemned by a outpouring of current and former GOP officials, warning that efforts is undermining America's faith in democracy, which is true. And time for the very important stimulus update information. Well, <clears throat> this video isn't going to be much of a stimulus update just because the politicians are more concerned about the Georgia Senate runoffs and the effects of Donald Trump on these runoffs. So basically, um, <clears throat> skip the stimulus will have to wait until after the Georgia runoffs are completely done because that'll actually determine whether Mitch McConnell retains control of the Senate or Chuck Schumer gains control of the Senate. Well, and it also depends on, you know, Trump's attitude towards this Georgia runoffs has been somewhat confusing, to say the least, and not exactly helpful when it comes to Republicans. For, for fact, on Friday, in a tweet, Donald Trump called the 2002 presidential election and the Senate runoff both illegal and invalid. And that would include the two current senatorial elections. And then on Saturday, he urged his Georgia 
followers to vote in by tweeting LB in Georgia to rally for the two great people, Purdue and Leffler, and to vote on Tuesday. And as I informed you yesterday, he called Georgia's Secretary of State, Brad Laffenberger, to find 11,780 votes for Trump to pit him over Biden in that state. Raffenberger, a Republican and a Trump supporter, told Trump that his data is wrong because he is not going to be getting those additional votes because Georgia has already certified their votes. These actions by Trump are doing Leffler and Purdue no favors, trust me, this is actually hurting them. So I saw some current numbers and I think it was Leffler is tied with his Democratic Party, his Democratic runoff partner, but Purdue is falling behind by, I think, 2%. I can't give you exact numbers. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and Leffler couldn't even campaign over the weekend with the Republican governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, because Trump has called for Kemp's registra registration. Yes. Which is, he, he has actually called for him to actually quit his job. His resignation. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> his resignation. So... Who do you think is hurting the Georgia elections more? Is it McConnell blocking the $2,000 stimulus check proposal on the Senate floor? Or is it Donald Trump with his strong election red, um, related rhetoric lately, such as election fraud and calling the Georgia Senate of, uh, Secretary of State asking for more votes? Who do you think is hurting the Republicans more? McConnell? Or is it Trump? If Please feel free to comment in the comment box below because I actually enjoy your comments to know what you say. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and I will broadcast to you guys tomorrow. Bye.